Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome to our campus session, Building Intelligent Campuses. In today's session, you will join the best minds in exploring the latest campus technologies, innovations, and best practices. What new outlook will campuses take? What new benefits can we expect from future campuses? Let's join today's speakers to find out the answers. First of all, let's welcome Mr. Zhu Chao, Chief Marketing Expert for Campus ICT at Huawei, who is going to take us through a new view of how technology empowers campuses. Let's welcome Mr. Zhu. Hello, everyone. I am Zhu Chao, Chief Marketing Expert for Campus ICT. Welcome to join session, Build Intelligent Campuses. I'd like to share with you how technology empowers campuses. We all agree that technologies have been changing rapidly. Back to 10 years ago, we actively promoted the concepts of mobile office, cloud computing, big data, and social. At that time, enterprises used these technologies for pilot innovation. This may be the earliest days of digital transformation. We usually call it Digital Transformation 1.0. As technologies constantly advance, digital transformation moves into the new era. In 2019, IDC delivered a speech about digital transformation at the Enterprise Internet CEO Summit. IDC mentioned that today's enterprises have entered the Digital Transformation 2.0 era. In this new era, many core businesses will be digitally transformed, including digital production. Speaking of digital production, it will intelligently interconnect all production processes, intelligent link with the supply chain and the consumption chain, and intelligently connect that platform between consumers and service providers. It will also achieve intelligent matching of social resources. Take Huawei as an example. At Huawei, we digitally transform all the organizational processes to improve operational efficiency. We break siloed IT systems and simplify employee workflows in order to increase efficiency. We also deeply integrate digital into each production line this means fewer employees are required while more robots are used. In this way, the efficiency of the entire production line is increased several times. Currently, we have begun to use robots to facilitate quality inspection and material delivery. In the future, AI will be applied widely to all aspects of enterprise processes. By that time, we will find that business innovation, which previously relied on personal skills, will expand to boundaries beyond our, our imagination. We call it Digital Transformation 3.0. In this era, AI will be everywhere in enterprise processes, and even new technologies such as quantum computing and bio-digital integration will be used. After 2023, AI-driven organizations will act at least one third faster than their peers in terms of customer and computer response. As we mentioned earlier, we are now at the digital transformation 2.0 phase. In this phase, how do campuses relate to digital transformation? We believe campuses are a strategic focus of digital transformation. This is because campuses are the basic unit of the city and also the most important places for people and industries to reside. According to Huawei's Enterprise Business Market Insights, more than 90% of urban residents work and live in campuses. More than 80% of GDP is created in campuses. 
more than 90% of innovation hampered happens in campuses. And each person spends 22 hours every day in campuses. It is no doubt to say a city, except roads, is composed of campuses. So, we believe campuses are a strategic focus of digital transformation. They are where we can truly feel digital transformation most. You may be wondering, what are the goals of campus digital transformation? To answer this question, Huawei has defined three roles who will be served by campus digital transformation. The first role is users who finally use campus services. The second role is campus operators and administrators. And the third role is campus investors and owners. The digital transformation goals are different for these three roles. The specific goals are better user experience, higher operational efficiency, and maximal ROI, respectively. Users who finally use campus services expect good service experience. They hope that mobile, video, and innovative applications can greatly improve their working and life experience. Campus operators and administrators expect to improve operational efficiency. They wish to use automation to improve production efficiency, reduce OPEX, and ensure service security. Campus investors and owners expect to use digital for maximize their return on investment. The returns include but are not limited to new services, more customer traffic, lower investment costs, and innovative business models. In order to achieve the goals for these three roles, campus digital transformation is constantly changing. We have noticed three key changes in campus digital transformation now. The first change lies in services. Digital services have shifted from process-driven to data-driven, and the service become cloud-based and intelligent. Back to the digital transformation 1.0 phase. Process-driven is the main idea. Enterprises start to digitize their existing processes, or more accurately speaking, transform their existing processes with ICT. For example, they begin to build a video-based security protection system to improve security protection efficiency. Similarly, parking systems, office systems, building management systems, and more are being digitalized. All of these greatly increase productivity in all aspects of the campus. However, as digital transformation goes further, all enterprise processes have been digitalized, and enterprises have built a large number of digital service systems. In this case, enterprises enter the digital transformation 2.0 phase. This new phase will be data-driven. Service data will be aggregated on the cloud, which will drive services to become intelligent. Next, I'd like to use the energy efficiency management scenario for the building automation system as an example. In the past, chillers were manually managed in an extensive manner. This resulted in a great waste of energy efficiency resources. Now, we can integrate all kinds of data and then carry out intelligent measurement and control. In this way, we can achieve automated and granular energy efficiency management. The data involved includes weather, environment, people flow, and machine data. In particular, the people flow and the machine data 
come from big data-based prediction. Huawei has practiced this in the HQ campus. The results show that energy efficiency is increased by 10%. This means big saving for Huawei, who spends more than 200 million USD a year for electricity bill. The second change lies in connect terminals. Connectivity extends from connecting people to connecting people, things, and environments, thereby building digital spaces. Compared with Digital Transformation 1.0, the biggest change in Digital Transformation 2.0 is that many core services are digitalized. At the same time, a large number of digital terminals have emerged for commercial, production, and service sectors. As a result, we connect not only people, but also things and environments. And finally, build digital spaces. Such digital spaces include digital office spaces, digital production spaces, digital commercial spaces, digital passenger spaces, and so on. Next, let's take the conference room scenario as an example. An ordinary conference room only connects people to the conference system, which is far from intelligent. In contrast, an intelligent conference room is a truly different picture. It connects the terminals of all systems in the conference room, including the temperature control system, lighting systems, conference systems, wireless systems, office service system, and asset system. This kind of digital conference space brings limitless, intelligent experience. For example, when a person enters a conference room, the air conditioner automatically adjusts to the most comfortable temperature. You can automatically join a conference by touching the NFC tag with your iPhone. After the conference ends, the lighting system automatically turns off. The third change lies in connectivity modes and the technologies. Such as the third change enables the first and the second changes we mentioned earlier. The campus quickly enters the era of fully wireless access and all optical barrier. Firstly, driven by both business and technology, we have arrived at the fully wireless era. Fully wireless experience is what we pose in our life, production, and service scenarios. For example, new services such as wireless projection, wireless VR, and wireless video conferencing have greatly increased the demands for fully wireless access in our scenarios. These demands can be well met along with the fast development of Wi-Fi 6 and other wireless communication technologies. Compared with Wi-Fi 5, Wi-Fi 6 increases capacity and bandwidth by four times and effectively reduces latency and power consumption. Secondly, driving by bandwidth upgrades and higher energy efficiency, we have embraced the arrival of the all optical barrier network. A large number of digital terminals enter the campus networks, and many digital services quickly develop. As a result, campus bandwidth requirements are greatly increased. In the past, optical fibers were mainly used at the core and aggregation layers of campus networks. Now, optical fibers are extended to the access layer and become the medium for end-to-end -end data transmission. Compared with network cables, optical fibers can increase bandwidth from Gbps to Tbps. In addition, optical fiber networks use passive components which can reduce energy consumption. Just now, we talked about three changes to the campus in the digital transformation 2.0 phase. Next, 
let's take a look at what campus ICT solution and architecture can best fit to address these changes. The first layer is the terminal layer. A large number of digital terminals connect people, things, and environments together. All these terminals will enter the campus network. They, they support IP networks, and even many of them will access the network through wireless access. The second layer is the connectivity layer. Fully wireless access and all optical barriers are key to campus networks. With such capabilities, a large number of digital terminals can access the network. In addition, due to the growing scale of campus networks, we need AI-based intelligent ONM to digitally transform the network. The third layer is the application layer. From process-driven to data-driven, a large number of intelligent applications emerge. For these applications, a digital platform serves as the foundation. It aggregates data and provides digital service accordingly. Based on this three-layer campus ICT solution architecture, we have three corresponding solutions. The three solutions together form an end-to-end -end digital campus solution. One solution is intelligent campus solution. This solution provides a variety of digital service based on the digital platform. With this solution, we can bring digital to every campus for pervasive intelligence. The other two solutions are two network solutions that support intelligent campuses. One is a fully wireless intelligent campus network solution, and the other is the all optical barrier network. These two solutions provide data and connections to support intelligent campus services. They also offer a wide range of connection technologies for digital terminals. Well, that brings us to the end of today's to topic. Technology empowers campuses. Thanks for joining us. I'd like to invite you to continue to attend other topics where my colleagues will introduce each of these three solutions in detail. Don't miss out. Thanks, Mr. Zhu, for your inspiring presentation. A campus marks the beginning of an intelligent world. How can we achieve more efficient and convenient work, production, and life on campuses? How can we enable business innovation and digital transformation across industries? To find out the answers, let's next welcome Mr. Pablo Tui, Vice President of the Intelligent Campus Business Department at Huawei, to share with us new thoughts on how digitalization makes campus services more intelligent. Hello, everyone. I'm Cui Haifeng from Huawei Intelligent Campus Business Department. Welcome to join our Build Intelligent Campus session. I would like to take this opportunity to share a few ideas. With the rapid development of ICT technology, 5G, cloud, AI, computing, and in industry application have all come together and integrated with the industry knowledge to create unprecedented opportunities, making all scenario intelligence possible on campuses. By integrating new ICT, Huawei aims to build a fully intelligent campus with ubiquitous connectivity, convergent and shared data, and the pervasive intelligence to benefit all stakeholders. The benefits include superior experience, operational excellence, efficient management, and value-added services. This is the overall architecture of our intelligent campus solution, which consists of four layers. The first task 
for building an intelligent campus is device connection. Access control and the parameter intrusion detection devices are connected through the intelligent connectivity solution, supporting plug and play. Then 4G, 5G, Wi-Fi, and IoT networks are deployed to connect everything on the campus. On the middle digital platform, we provide 10 types of services for partners and customers to build differentiated business applications. The Intelligent Operating Center, or IOC, Intelligent Access Control, Facility Management, and the other applications are all underpinned by the platform. In this architecture, Huawei adheres to its boundaries. We only focus on what we are good at, and all business applications are open to partners so that we can grow together. Huawei Intelligent Campus Solution has six features. First, device plug and play. Campus devices are interconnected to enable data convergency and mining. Second, we accumulate industry knowledge on the digital platform to help partners to develop business applications. Third, we provide a series of tools such as pre-integration and automated testing to simplify service delivery. Fourth, our solution supports easy integration. In the past, to deploy a service across multiple campuses, we needed repeated development and construction. Now, a standardized solution helps us implement one-time integration. Fifth, we deliver roads experience for different stakeholders, namely real-time, on-demand, or online, do-it-yourself, and social. At last, when an intelligent campus is built, it doesn't mean the end, but signals a start. In other words, the campus needs continuous operation to improve efficiency. Our solution provides two deployment modes to adapt to campuses with different scales and business complexity. First, the public cloud deployment mode is applicable to campuses that need to migrate services to clouds. It features light access and support various services across campuses. In addition, services can be deployed in an agile way, raising low techno requirements. Second, the Cloud Age Synergy Development Mode is applicable to small and middle-sized campuses, especially single campus and single building projects. It features preconditions, fast delivery, and easy operation and maintenance. Furthermore, service can be agilely literated and has low requirements on installation space and the technology capabilities. You can choose either of them based on your needs. Compared with other Huawei businesses, our intelligent campus business has a distinctive feature. Since 2018, Huawei has trialed the solution on its own campuses. To date, we have intelligently reconstructed 18 of our campuses covering 4.3 million square meters and achieved great results. For example, the office collaboration efficiency has been improved by 30%. The administrative service efficiency has increased by 30%. And the comprehensive energy consumption has been reduced by more than 10%. Huawei Intelligent Campus Solution has served more than 500 customers across multiple industries, such as 
real estate, manufacturing, logistics, and energy. Huawei worked with DTGO in Thailand to establish standards and build true digital park into an intelligent landmark. Based on Huawei Cloud and the intelligent campus digital platform, this project deployed smart services such as IOC, perimeter management, video-based patrol, and device management. It enables services using big data to support management decision making and business innovation and facilitates multiple campuses across in the future. Xi'an is an Asian city in China and is now revitalized by the rapid development of ICT. Huawei helped Xi'an Olympic Sports Center build intelligent stadiums to improve event security and experience. 8K live streaming and the immersive house enable amazing events. Database operation increase revenue, promote fitness for all, and boost the sports economy. In addition, stadium access data and the nearby traffic data are integrated, facilitating the urban management. The 14th National Games of China will be held here in September this year. Welcome to attend to the games in our extraordinary intelligent stadium. There is a Chinese saying, if you want to go fast, go along. If you want to go far, go together. We implement the platform plus ecosystem strategy and work with partners to help customers succeed. For campus business, we have developed 10 types of partners, such as consulting, planning, and solution design. In the future, we hope to work with more partners to serve customers from industry parks, exhibition halls, communities, and other domains. Today, I'm honored to officially launch the Huawei Intelligent campus solution to regions outside China. We are committed to bring digital to every campus for pervasive intelligence. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Tui, for your impressive presentation. It's really thought-provoking. Speaking of Huawei's campus solution, I'm sure that you've heard of Huawei's cloud campus solution. To learn more about this latest solution, let's invite Mr. Li Xing, president of the campus network domain, Huawei Data Communication Product Line, to share how to build a fully wireless, intelligent campus network with Cloud Campus 3.0. Let's welcome Mr. Li. Hi, everyone. I am Li Xin, president of Huawei's campus network domain. It's my pleasure to share with you Huawei's latest innovation on the cloud campus with our cloud camera solution 3.0. Today, enterprises across industries are upgrading their network infrastructure to build a fully wireless office environment and enable their new digital services. Network is fundamental to enterprise transformation. There are unstoppable trends 
that are pushing enterprise network to change. We summarize them in three trends. First of all, the number of mobile terminals has increased significantly. In terms of the cloud, regardless of whether it is application of office, instant message or even computing resources are delivered over internet as a service. The third, network as the major components that connect the terminals and the cloud has transformed to the new architecture that enable multi-branch, multi-cloud interconnection. Thus, networks are facing four challenges in the process of IT evolution. First of all, more and more terminals trend to use wireless communication. But the traditional wireless network is not continuous coverage, which directly affects the efficiency of our business and the team collaboration. The second, once more, 80% of the applications deployed on the cloud. It requires one network with global service interworking. But independent side network planning complicates the network architecture. The third, and also the suite of the network strategy upgrades and the deployment can no longer adapt the change of the cloud service. Finally, in terms of the operation and the management, there is no tool for virtualization of user and application experience, and there is no way to perform proactively maintenance. Today, Huawei upgrades our campus network solution to version 3.0 to meet those challenges. You and the U network could benefit from following full distinguished Cloud Campus 3.0 features. First, in your office and the production, wireless will become the primary connect method. Our L engine Wi Fi 6 technology to create a wireless network with continuous coverage, which will maximize the productivity. Second, no matter where your global business is, we take advantage of the innovative SYV6 plus SD1 to build one global network. Thirdly, network operations are shifting from local to the cloud. With our cloud management platform, you could manage the global network at any time, anywhere. Finally, we take the advantage of the AI system trained by Huawei Global Network to improve the reliability and the user experience of service. So, with the fully wireless feature, the first question you might have is, does the Wi-Fi network are capable to replace the traditional wireless network? The answer is yes. Wi-Fi is quickly becoming the foundation instruction for entire IT. Traditional Wi-Fi technologies have inherent problems, making them efficient for today's and tomorrow's applications. However, Wi-Fi 6 networks improve bandwidth, latency, and the capability, but lack deterministic experience. Huawei has accumulated decades of wireless technologies based on the Wi-Fi 6 standards. These problems are resolved by optimization, antenna, radio frequencies, and algorithms. Wi-Fi 6 enables various enterprise services to experience wired networks, thereby enabling wired service to replace wired networks. Although Wi-Fi 6 can replace wired networks, the biggest challenge for Wi-Fi network is continuous networking. Our Wi-Fi 6 products adopt exclusive software and hardware innovations. So, they can enable high-density continuous wireless networking and offer the best looming performance in the industry. The details are following. In terms of network planning, we provide innovative 3D planning tool to virtualize simulated signal. Huawei uses industry-leading smart antennas to achieve seamless coverage and increase the coverage readers by 20% to address the issue of a frequent looming interruption. Huawei introduces 
the exclusive AI roaming technology. The roaming access rate on the entire network reaches over 96%. These innovations provide continuous and consistent experience on the entire network after large-scale Wi-Fi deployment. We are pushing limits of Wi-Fi 6 network performance. By doing this, enterprise could enable more bandwidth consuming applications on Wi-Fi, even in your density environments. Last year, we launched the flagship Wi-Fi 6 AP L Intim 8760. Until today, it is still the fastest Wi-Fi 6 AP in the industry. Today, we extend our Wi-Fi product line to more in the industries and the scenarios. We will launch five new unique Wi-Fi 6 APs and two additional industry-specific Wi-Fi 6 for real transportation and the manufacturing industries. Let's watch video. Let's introduce our five unique L engine Wi-Fi 6 AP and their new use cases. In the high density room scenarios, such as the hotel rooms and the student dormitories, our new Warplate L engine 5761-11W and L engine 5761-12W provide high speed wireless capabilities and offers stronger signal strength to penetrate through walls. In retail scenarios such as stores, our new L engine 5761-11 supports smart antennas, so it offers 20% greater coverage distance than traditional omnidirectional antennas. In mobile office scenario, our new high Performance L engine 576121 uses the unique lossless roaming technology to ensure stable and smooth service experience. Users can roam seamlessly with zero packed loss. In electricity classroom scenario, our triple radio high performance L engine 676121T provides higher user access capability. It offers 50% more user concurrency than dual radio read APs. So far, we have more than 20 Wi-Fi 6 APs in various scenarios. They can support fully wireless continuous networking in all scenarios. Basically, we have mostly talked about Wi-Fi, but Wi-Fi in the end is only half of the story. We, of course, need a high-quality and a flexible wired network to connect the old access points and many other devices. Our latest uh, hybrid copper fiber cables allow end users to take advantage of DC power and the fiber in one cable to safely deliver over 100 watt power, more than 10 giga bandwidth along over 300 meters distance to remote locations where standard power is unavailable or too costly to install. It is the ideal choice for HD cameras or AP backhaul in special scenarios like warehouse or logistic environments. With the improved the wireless network performance, you wired network are facing challenges. Whether should upgrade all of them to multi-G or 10 giga G interface? Our answer is no, but you could keep flexibility for future upgrading with the RTU license. With multi-G switch and innovative RTU, you only need to deploy hardware devices at a basic port rate and upgrade to the future target network where RTU license later without any hardware replacement. This greatly protects your investment and reduces CapEx by 
Last year, we upgrade our cloud engine S5730 product line with brand new multi G switches. Today, I am pleased to introduce our five new 24 port multi G switch to the family. Let's watch a short introduction video. That is Cloud Engine S5736S, all its 24 multi-G ports are capable of 10G. Based on the innovative RTO license, our switch can provide 15 different product choices in one model. Since port rates can be configured on demand, flexibly meeting service deployment needs in device scenarios. This switch also provides another advantage, that is, it can offer up to 90 watt PoE++ on one single port. This is the first multi-G switch to achieve such a capability. It will be the best access switch for Wi-Fi 6. With the adoption of a public cloud, reliable and efficient data interconnection is critical. How to build a high-performance but simple wind error network? Huawei SD1 solution is the answer. Our solution supports 5G and wide uplinks to implement high-speed interconnection between the branches and headquarters as well as the cloud, helping enterprises quickly expand services. With the adoption of SD1, network entities are plug-and-play, which means branches to be connected to the cloud in one hop and achieve network connectivity in one day. Finally, with intelligent traffic steering, SD1 makes full use of multiple link resources such as 5G and private lines. This ensures the experience of king applications. We now introducing the brand new Night Engine AR8140, a high performance intelligent routing gateway. Meanwhile, we introduce our newly upgraded VCP model, namely AR1000 Way. Let's watch a short introduction video. The Net Engine AR8140 is the industry-only product which supports both SYV6 and SD1. It achieves high-speed interconnection across campus and one. Coordinating with SYV6 on the backbone network, this product implements full path intelligent traffic steering and offers 10 millisecond deterministic latency. In addition, it provides up to 20 gigabps SD1 performance, which is at least twice that of other vendors' products. All this make it the ideal choice for cloud access in the next three to five years. The enhanced AR1000 way enables one hop to five mainstream public clouds, including AWS, Azure, Huawei Cloud, Ali Cloud, and the China Telecom eCloud, which implement multi-cloud interconnection. Also, the AR1000 way provides SD1 performance of up to 10 gigabps, twice of the industry average, so more branches can be connected to clouds. In the cloud era, the physical boundary of the campus network has been blurred. How to take advantage of SDN technology to achieve fully cloud management of the global network? Your network should have three features. First, 
it supports VPC-based model-driven rapid integration with cloud application. Secondly, SDN performance network verification through exclusive DUPV data plane simulation to achieve zero error upgrades in network policy. Thirdly, it achieves one-click deployment for all entity in M campus, which simplifies the whole life cycle from planning, simulation, configuration, measurement, and reduces OPEX by 50%. Here, I'd like to introduce our new function on iMaster NCE campus, that is, intent-based intelligent verification. With our unique data plan verification or DPV technology, we can achieve the manual verification time from hours to minutes before service roll out. What are key advantages of this new function? First, network-wide snapshot comparison helps quickly back up network-wide information and quickly detect inconsistencies locating fault quickly. Second, real-time subnet connectivity verification and the multipass tracing help quickly identify faulty network elements. Third, terminal access is simulated in real time to verify the accuracy of terminal access permissions. This helps ensure secure and trustworthy networks. Next, let's watch the demo of our intent-based intelligent verification function. iMaster NCE Campus uses DPV, which is short for Data Plane Verification, to provide comprehensive intelligent verification capabilities. Enabling snapshot management allows iMaster NCE Campus to back up the any topologies, configurations, routes, and entries on an entire network. By comparing snapshots, iMaster NCE Campus can identify any changes and rapidly locate network faults. With subnet simulation, iMaster NCE Campus can comprehensively verify network connectivity and traffic forwarding paths. For example, we can easily see that all equal cost routes are verified on the topology to ensure that network connectivity and paths meet the configuration expectations. Enabling the access simulation function allows iMaster NCE Campus to comprehensively verify user rights. For example, it can check whether user rights meet certain requirements and whether user rights go beyond the specified scope after configuration delivery. iMaster NCE Campus simplifies network verification with unrivaled intelligence. The fully wireless network and the cloudification of services make the network management very complexity. How to easily keep the network up running and deliver application quality assurance is the major challenge to all network operation teams. AI and the big data is what we need. Huawei Solution adopts an AI-based intelligent operation and management system to continuously analyze the experience of each user in each application and at each moment on the entire campus network. Besides our AI-based intelligent operation and management, Camper Insight proactively detecting 85% potential faults and rectifying faults before user complaints. Applications are indispensable in our daily life and office work. How to ensure high quality user experience with applications is a challenge for many enterprises. Next, let's watch the demo. Huawei iMaster NCE Campus Insight can precisely identify more than 1,000 widely used applications, including Zoom and Skype, and collect traffic usage statistics of these applications in real time. Campus Insight also uniquely adopts EMDI and IPCA 2.0 technologies as well as AI algorithms to detect application quality in real time and locate faults in minutes. In short, Huawei iMaster NCE Campus Insight 
delivers superb user experience with unrivaled intelligent O&M. So far, we have been talking about the leading innovations in the Cloud Campus 3.0 solution. Our solution, of course, is dedicated to the digital transformation across multiple industries, namely Cloud Campus 3.0 plus X. Huawei's all new Smart X within backhaul solution newly supports solar power supply and the lithium battery power supply, as well as a 5G AR uplink to ensure normal usage, even without main electricity or wired network. The second, the industry 5G ARs prove the reliability needed for IP-based transformation of industrial devices in industries. We launched a Wi-Fi 6 CPE for industrial manufacturing scenarios. This achieves zero packed loss for AGVs, flexible adjustment of production devices, and a real-time adjustment of device parameters through big data analysis. As a result, production efficiency is greatly increased. In real transportation scenario, customers require high bandwidth and reliability. Huawei's all-new vehicle-mounted Wi-Fi 6 AP can meet these expectations. Such APs support dual 5G Hertz link and offer a wireless backhaul bandwidth of over 300 Mbps. Our lossless roaming technology ensures that services are not interrupted and the latency is less than 15 milliseconds when the train is moving at a high speed. To sum up, fully wireless networking, one global network, cloud management, intelligent operation and management are four distinctive features of our Cloud Campus 3.0. With our future-proof solution, you and your organization will thrive in cloud era by inspiring your employees' innovation, by leveraging the cloud instruction, by delivering the agile services, and by guaranteeing a reliable digital services. I wish you could choose Huawei Cloud Campus 3.0 solution, a truly cloud management solution for campus network in the cloud era. This is all my speech. Thank you for your attention. Thanks, Mr. Lee, for your wonderful presentation. Apart from Cloud Campus 3.0, the IP plus POL solution is also welcomed by customers. This solution is significant from the perspectives of technology, industry, business and society as it helps build a green network for the next 30 years. To learn more, please welcome Mr. Michael McDonald, Chief Digital Officer and Executive Consultant of Huawei's Asia-Pacific region to share on how to build green optical campus networks for various industries. Welcome to building green optical campus networks. I'm Michael McDonald, Chief Digital Officer for Huawei Asia-Pacific. Let's look at some of the new trends driving campus network innovation. Traditional campus deployments assume the majority of traffic was horizontal, with services moving data between users and devices often within the same tier. With the introduction of cloud services, traffic shifts vertically, with users and devices interacting with or through a cloud data center. This calls for a rethink to make our new campus architecture simple and easy to deploy. New service and devices are being introduced every day and high bandwidth services like video conferencing and CCTV are commonplace. With Wi-Fi 6, we require 10 gigabits per second connections and that quickly exhausts the capabilities of copper. We need a solution that can support not just the bandwidth demands of services today, but can continuously evolve to support those of the future. And this new campus needs to be easier than ever 
to operate and maintain with O&M automation for easy and unified management. Typical cloud networks are built based on connection-oriented and bandwidth-driven concepts. Our Campus Optics solution helps customers build a green network for the next 30 years. Based on four dimensions, technology, industry, society, and business, we use a simplified ultra-broadband IP POL architecture to carry campus Wi-Fi, IoT, and video backhaul, transforming networks of the past into green networks driven by the latest ICT technologies and experience-driven networks. We live in an eco-conscious world. Copper is a limited resource, with more than half of it already tied up for various wires and cables and buildings. Fiber is made from silicon dioxide, or sand. We've got a lot of it. It's 80% more power efficient than copper, using only 2 watts of power versus 10 for copper. Fiber's 40 kilometer range versus copper's 100 meter range is 400 times better. And fiber lasts more than 30 years. That's four times longer than copper. With deep fiber, we're penetrating further than ever before to put the benefits of fiber in action. Traditionally, fiber was deployed from the IT room to the building to the floor, and that's it. But we can push it even deeper, past the floor, into the room, right to the desk, and even in some cases, to the end terminal. Traditional campus networks face a 100 meter transmission distance constraint on copper. Campus Optics builds a flattened network experience with three key advantages. First, Campus Optics integrates the benefits of IP and passive optical LAN for a future-proof platform with better investment protection. Huawei's OLT platform is ready for next-generation PON technologies, allowing bandwidth to reach 20G to 50G per port in the aggregation, and the core switches can run without change for years because our density is six times higher. Second, Campus Optics is green. By using passive material, we save energy by almost 30%, and the flattened architecture component of the solution saves 50% of the IT room space and cabling. Third, Campus Optics includes a fully plug-and-play unified management platform for the whole network to converge management and operations and ultimately save labor costs. Every campus has its own specific stringent requirements for bandwidth, size, latency, energy consumption, and security. Campus Optics provides the architecture innovation needed for campuses of today and the future. Campus Optics uses one fiber for all services with long distance transmission, secure and reliable transmission advantages, breaking campus boundaries and enabling digitalization of various industries beyond just government, enterprise campus, and SOHO, to include schools, smart cities, banks, factories, hospitals, and more. Let's take a look at how the solution works in the office. Campus Optics provides a green network with space savings up to 80% and power consumption down by 30% due to the reduction in cabling in IT rooms. And it's the industry's first 40G PON ONU Huawei Optics Star S892E designed for Wi-Fi 6 to quickly and easily enable all wireless access in the office. For education campuses, the flattened architecture means fewer nodes and faults and simplified O&M. The Huawei Optics Star ONU supports PoE++ and plug and play to easily enable all services over a single fiber to each classroom for security cameras, electronic whiteboards, teaching cloud terminals, loudspeakers, Wi-Fi access, and electronic classroom bulletin boards. In the hotel, Campus Optics delivers multiple services in a single fiber with optimal cost. Guests have a high expectation of hotel room network experiences. The Huawei Optics Star ONT provides a convergence point for hotel room voice, video, wireless, and wired internet access, but uses just a single fiber instead of twisted pair for the phone, coax for the TV, and cat5 for wired and wireless internet. The Campus Optics solution saves a ton on cost while providing exceptional services that guests demand. Lastly, for airports, Campus Optics has anti-electromagnetic interference and long distance coverage making it the perfect solution for sprawling concourses. Airports present a unique challenge simply because of size and distance. But using Access OLTs, we can run direct fiber throughout the airport to cover duty-free shops, video backhaul, and general wireless coverage with each fiber running up to 40 kilometers. We can even connect the fiber directly to the Wi-Fi 6 access points and IP cameras using a special SFP ONU interface module. 
Campus Optics enables real business success covering all scenarios and services. Ultra Broadband and Wi-Fi 6 enable full wireless access throughout the office, powering digital workspaces and creating mobile collaborative offices. Traditional retail is transformed with fast deployment and smart warehousing. And airports become smarter with digital billboards and flight information display systems and full wireless and visual coverage. Campus Optics even helps society by delivering solutions for environmental protection, educational fairness, and medical safety. For boring leisure, Campus Optics is used to connect 14 hotels, three theme parks, and 57 resorts across the UK, saving a whopping 30% in energy and 50% for extra low voltage rooms and cabling. In rural Pangang, Sichuan, Campus Optics help bridge the digital divide by connecting more than 700,000 teachers and students in remote areas to high quality educational resources in 80 rural schools. And Huawei helped Wuhan Coronavirus Hospital complete their network construction of over 2,600 beds and medical devices in 10 days. We continue to innovate and build green optical campus networks for all industries. Bullethead pre-connected optical cables and quick ODN implement minute level pipe routing for 80% improvement in deployment efficiency. Photoelectronic composite cables combine optical fiber and power to enable better communication and power integration that's 40% smaller and can carry power over ethernet up to 800 meters. And scenario-based optical terminals improve efficiency by up to 60% and improve the mobility experience. Huawei's Campus Optics solution is backed by a team of top specialists across a global network of 13 R&D centers. Huawei has over 7,000 R&D staff and 1 billion US dollars invested, and that has powered us to the number one position in the pawn market, number two in ethernet switching, and number one for wireless LAN Wi-Fi 6. Huawei also leads the data communication industry with the highest number of RFC drafts and the second highest for RFC standards and it's number one for NG PON standards. The IP plus passive optical LAN ecosystem is developing quickly. Already, we are cooperating with over 40 partners to promote the POL industry through win-win engagements with distributors, design institutes, and integrators. And we're working to promote the incorporation of POL standards into national standards with more than 10 industry standards developed with our partners. Our solution has been deployed by more than 1,800 customers in 50 countries, including the Dubai Creek Harbor Complex, which is a shared use development with hotels, offices, condos, shopping, and more. At Fudan University in China, a top three school, Campus Optics provides full campus coverage of dormitories and offices and is used for reliable campus security. And in Singapore, at Changi Airport, Campus Optics is the foundation for parking lot security. With Taj Hotel Group in India, a campus optics fiber solution is now standard within the group. Huawei's campus optics network solution adopts cutting edge technologies like passive optical network access, a simplified PON architecture, multi-service transmission, passive long haul transmission, and converged ethernet to tackle the ever growing requirements of a modern campus. This delivers high bandwidth and low latency improves operations and maintenance efficiency, supports future evolution, and protects existing investments for enterprises in any campus scenario. The only question is, are you ready to transform? I hope you now have a good understanding of our campus optics solution. And I wanna thank you for your time, but before we go, let's hear directly from the customer about their experience with campus optics. Cheers. Uh, Sber is not just a bank, uh, but a technology company. We hope to use new technologies to improve service levels and provide better services for users. In the new era of digital economy, Sber faces a major challenge in digital transformation. How to break out of traditional architecture, support efficient office through uh, innovate information technology solutions and meet Sbers IT as a service and IT as a business development strategy.
as the cornerstone of ICT infrastructure. Network connectivity is a key link for data sharing and interconnection among people, things, and environments. In addition to meet the current and future intelligent development requirements, it also needs to meet uh, the bare pursuit of innovate, advance, and green. The Huawei campus of TX solution fits the bare technological tonality. Uh, Huawei campus of TX implementing conversion bearer of cloud office, voice, Wi-Fi, video black hole, and IOT. Avoiding siloed uh, network construction and repetitive investment. The ODN uh, networks doesn't not require special air conditioners and fire equipment, saving up to 80% equipment rooms and up to 80% uh, cabling. Ultra broadband fibers break the transmission distance limitation of traditional networks cables, making cabling supplier and more elegant. Network upgrades do not require net cabling. Uh, the bandwidth uh, of uh, Huawei Campus of TX can be smoothly evolved from 10 Japan to 50 Japan. It just on supports smooth evolution to Wi-Fi six bearer networks and builds networks that uh, can be flexibly be, uh, evolved in the next years. As we draw this session to a close, let me thank you for joining us here. Thank you for attending today's session on building intelligent campuses. If you want to learn more, feel free to visit e.huawei.com or get in touch with our Huawei representatives.